In the last video, we talked about uh, the different consequences of fields. In this video, I want to show you a very powerful uh, proof strategy, which is called proof. So it's called contradiction, but I'm writing it as proof by contra contradiction. So how does this work? So basically, I, I my my goal with with this channel and with my videos is to simplify as much as possible. So how do you how do you do this? Basically, if you have to prove something, you assume the opposite, and then so I'll just I'll just write it in steps. So say you have to prove have to prove some concept then the, these are the steps that you must take in order to you know it's really easy if you just give it a chance so say that you have to prove some concept this is what you do you assume you assume the opposite okay and then you spend time spend time with 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 your with your with your original spend time with your original concept concept and and get to a conclusion get to a conclusion get to a conclusion which contradicts which contradicts which contra your assumption so I know the first time you see it it's it seems a little bit overwhelming but let me do basically what I said here and 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 let me give you an example because I think it's best under it's best understood with an example the best so let me just make it a theorem actually the theorem. This is a very, very important theorem. I'm gonna put a star beside this. This is a wonderful segue uh, into into sequences and then later on series and before even that into ordered fields and all that stuff. It it basically explains why we were not satisfied with the rationals. So the theorem is the theorem is the square root of two is not rational. So basically, in mathematical terms, square root of 2 is not an element of the rational number system. So how do we do this? How do we prove this with by, well, contradiction? So this is how you do it. The first line, it's, it's always this. Suppose for contradiction, that square root of 2 is rational so look at what i just look at what i just did this is the first step assume the opposite that's what i did i assumed the the opposite assume the opposite so they tell me to prove that square root of 2 is is not uh, it's 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 not uh, rational then what what do I do uh, well I assume the opposite So what do I do? I assume the opposite. So what do I do? I assume the opposite. So suppose for contradiction that square root of 2 is not rational. Then now at this stage we have to assume so we then so actually I should use now we now well, okay now we assume that one 
of p so okay so so well well okay now we assume that p is an element of the integers and q is an element of the naturals if you remember the definition of the rationals was the following that you give me a p and a q such that p is an element p is an element of the integers and q is an element of the naturals that was the definition of what rationals were so now we assume that p is an element of the of, of the integers and the q is an element of the naturals now we assume now assume p and q do not do not have any common factors common factors so what does this mean this means that they are in their most reducible form they, they can't be reduced anymore so if we if we were to put q so therefore we this implies that if we were to multiply um, the, 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 the square root of 2 by our q well well we we said that square root of 2 is the same as well we, we assumed for contradiction it's rational if it's rational then square root of 2 must be able to you know be represented in some sort of fraction form so let's just call the top of the well the numerator p and the bottom q and that's what we have done here that's what that's the definition of what rationals are and then you multiply both sides by q so what do you get you get q times the square root of 2 and then which is equal to p now if we square both if we square both sides this is very important if we square both sides what what happens well we end up getting something like this we get q squared and then the, the, the square root of 2 squared is the same thing as 2. This was in one of our previous uh, lectures uh, th th that I covered. It was one of our lemmas. Look, negative 1 squared gives you 1. What this basically says is it if you you could have put a square root inside as well and 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 then that would have taken care of of the value as well. I, I should make it a, a different consequence, but however, the, the, I think you I think you know from your high school classes so I don't think I need to do that so the square root sign cancels with the, with the square so we are left with a 2 so we have q squared times 2 which is equal to p which which is equal to p squared clearly if you are multiplying some sort of value by 2 this tells us that p has to be even so p is even okay so now that we understand this since we know p is even w any even number can be represented by 2k this was in one of our our introductory lectures if i was to take any even even number i could represent it by 2 times some number Th that's the definition of being even so just for the sake of this proof let's call p well let's equate p to 2 K. So, if we do that, since these two are equal, we can replace it inside of this. So, what happens? We do Q squared, that, that, that remains, and inside of the P, we put this, because we just found out that P is even. Okay, so you put 2K inside of this, 2K, and P was squared, so we have to put a squared we have to put a squared here so this when you bring the the, the the square inside of the brackets you get q squared times 2 2 squared is 4 so 2 squared is equal to 4 so we have 4 k squared now if we divide both sides by 2 if we were to divide both sides by 2, we, we, we would have 2 divided by 2 with this cancels, and this divided by 2 would be 1 and then 2. So we just, we just found out that q squared is equal to 2k squared.
So what what does this mean? We just found out that Q is even as well. So Q is even. So Q is even. At the start of our proof, we said that there are no common factors. So let me actually underline that. Now we we we, we assumed assume P and Q do not have any common factors. This was very important. Now, something very important about even numbers is that if 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 the top, if the numerator is even, if the numerator is even, and the denominator is even, is even, then there must be some sort of common factor because even can be represented by 2k and the bottom will be able to represent, uh, can be represented by 2k. And if you put them uh, on the numerator on top of the denominator, you would have 2k over 2k. However, this clearly has a common factor which can be reduced to k over k, which will be equal to one. So going back to what we were talking about here, if P is even and Q is even, then clearly they do, they do have a common factor amongst each other. So this, I, I hope you can see this, I, I hope I made it clear that this is a contradiction. So to end the proof, at the end of the proof, I, I don't have space on that slide. So at the end of the proof, you just write, we can see that P is even, Q is even, but at the start, okay, don't use the at sign. Actually, I, sh I, I, I should write it. But at the start, we said they did not share factors. They did, did not share factors. And events and even numbers and even numbers do, do share factors, share factors. This is a contradiction, contradiction. Contradiction. Therefore, my assumption has to be wrong. So it has to be wrong. And you write a QED at the end. Wrong, QED, and that's where your proof ends. Now, I know you may be a little bit confused of why did I say my assumption. Remember that I said suppose for contradiction that square root of two is rational. That's where this whole thing started. This, when I said suppose, that's my assumption. So I assume, basically you can replace it with assume for contradiction that square root of two is rational. Everything else that we did was based off the fact that square root of two is rational. The P over Q, the P over Q uh, was you know, derived based off the definition and assumption that I gave for this proof, which was that square root of two is rational. So going back to the original slide that I, that I wrote the thing on. So we originally, so we were told, so let me use green here, say you have to prove square root of two is rational, sorry, is not uh, rational. So what do we do? First, assume the opposite, that's what we did. We assumed square root of two is irrational, and then spend time with your original concept and get to a conclusion. So so you you spend time with this, and, and we said if, if it's square root of two, then it can be represented by this. Then we gave, and then we multiply both sides by Q, and we got P, we squared both both sides. I'm giving a quick, quick review again. Uh, so we, we squared both sides. We got Q squared, which and, and then two, and then P squared. I said that P is even at this stage, at this, at this stage, I said P is even. And then we keep going. And we said that if, 
if if it's even oh yeah and 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 then at at the start i also said that they don't share factors at some somewhere here i said uh, they, they, they don't have any common factors so uh, no no common factors and and we got to this so first i assume the opposite square root of 2 is rational then i said if it's rational then it can be represented by this and p and q don't have any common factors then i started rearranging my equation and i got to this stage where i found out that p is even and then we said that if p is even then it can be represented by 2k and then i said q squared times 2 2k squared can be you know rewritten as 2q squared sorry q squared times 2 which then it you you distribute the two inside which will be 4k squared we divide both sides by 2 and we get that q squared is so 4 divided by 2 is 2 so so that's 2 and that's 1 so q squared is equal to 2k squared uh, and 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 at this stage we found out that q uh, is q is even q is even however at the starting of the proof we said that it did not share any common factors and that was our contradiction and then at the end as always please write qed to show that you have ended your proof i hope this video made it clear how how uh, the proofs by contradiction work um and and i hope you understood what what the steps are and how you can use this strategy to prove some very powerful theorems later on i hope this video was helpful